Hi friends, in this video we will try to download MySQL Docker image from Docker Hub and try to perform some basic operations on it. So uh, let's go to Docker Hub and search for MySQL. Make sure that you have official images checked. Click on the very first image and uh, we'll try to download um, 8.0 version. So copy the command, go, go to the command prompt and paste it and hit enter. So this is downloading the image. Okay, so now you have the image locally. So let's check that Docker image ls. So now you can see that you have the MySQL repository. So let's create the container by using run command docker run and I'll be giving a name to this and I'll say MySQL container and I'll run this in detach mode. Okay, so next is the MySQL followed with the tag name. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll see that. Let's See what happens okay so it printed the container id let's say docker container ls a and you can see that that container was created and exited seven seconds ago and the name of that is sql container now here uh the thing is the container was created and exited so what we are missing so let's see to check the logs we can check the logs logs and use the logs option and the container id here it is 20 and hit enter and it says you can see that we need you need to specify one of mysql root password or mysql allow empty password and mysql random root password so what it is expecting is basically you know when you when you run the uh, container it is expecting some entry point if you look at here it's saying entry point and what is entry point we'll be looking into it in detail when we are trying to create our own image okay but for now just remember that uh, for when you try to run a container that is mysql container it is expecting an argument okay an argument or, or you can say an environment variable that you need to pass here so you can see that also on the uh, you know official side of this docker hub where you can go to description if you scroll down it says how to use this image and you can see that docker run name name of the container followed by e option and e is nothing but the environment and detach d is the detach mode and the name of the image so let's pass this mysql password mysql root password uh, and we know that by default mysql has a user called root and uh, what we are doing is by passing this environment variable mysql root password we are setting the password of that root user okay uh, so that we'll do that so let's go back here uh, and let's try to first clean up our stopped container uh, hit enter okay i cleaned up stop container now next i'll rerun my con uh, container by passing the environment variable and this time it is my sql root password i copy from the logs and this time um, i'll give the password let's give it as my sql okay and password and in real time you know um, this will not be this you know yeah, it will be more secure way of uh, passing the parameter that is the password here but for now you yeah, know let's pass it uh, in a plain text mm, now if i hit enter and you can see that the container is created let's see the docker container ls a and you can see that the container is up and running and it says status is up and you can check the logs and 
the ID is C2. And you can see the log says, okay, ready for startup. Okay, so it started. Now, the thing is, uh, our SQL container is up and run. So let's now interact with our container. Okay, so to get into the container, we know that uh, we have, uh, uh, we can use the command execute. So let's try to use it. But for that, let me again go to my list and check. Now this time I'll do is container exe, that is execute command, and I'll try to do it in interactive way. I'll try to communicate with container in interactive way. So next, I'll give the container ID followed by the argument to the execute command. So I want to go into bash command. So I'll, now I'll hit enter. And now you can see that I am inside the container with the user root. Okay. So now let's check here. Um, MySQL, okay, version, and you can see the MySQL version is 8.0.20. This is something that we downloaded um, from Docker Hub and is installed here in our container. So next, uh, how to come out? Okay, how to get into the you know uh, into the SQL MySQL command line? So I'm already inside the container. Now I want to go into the MySQL uh, CLI. So what I'll do is, uh, uh, let me try to do MySQL user is root and my password, the password is something that we uh, gave when we created the container. That is MySQL password. Okay, and now if I hit enter, you can see that I am now in the MySQL CLI. Okay. Now here, if I say show database and hit enter, it shows me all the database that uh, uh, that a root user can access. So you have it all here. Now you can perform any operations like you know you can perform any DDL or DML operations once you are within the car in you know, my SQL command line. So how to get out of the command uh, MySQL? It is exit, you can do exit. And now I'm in the container. Now if I want to exit from here, I'll do again exit. Now I'm in my host command prompt. Now if we check again the status of our container, it is still up and running so that's it for the video i'll see you in the next session